Okay, so the last outpost set, what I've done so far is um, I've painted the faces base colour pink in the Vallejo set and done some red on the jackets and the horses I've coated with gesso and painted them bright red with the if I can find the colour now cadmium deep red this one's Dala and Rowney, which is not a craft paint, it's an artist's paint. I've had this for about 30 years, for God's sake, and um, very useful. Must get some more. I do like buying these as well. Um, the Windsor and Newtons, the Dala Rowneys, the proper stuff that artists use, unlike myself. But yeah, works well. And. Um, it's not Vallejo, it's probably more, well it, it is actually more expensive, so you know it's good stuff, there's good good pigment in there. So yeah, this is what I'm using for this one. And I use this a lot for the reds. Now for the black bits, I find that Vallejo black is probably the finest black there is on the market. I've tried it with um, other paints, craft paints and artist paints and Vallejo is without a doubt the best. It's so matte, it's untrue, it's great for doing hats, it's great for doing leggings, it's great for being the base coat for metal bits because when you dry brush over that with a silver paint it just looks fantastic. So that's what, look at that, got the uh, facial features in there lovely stuff but yeah that is that is matte black that's that's galaxy black you know when when you uh, use the Hubble telescope to look into the sky it's just so dark black so what I'm gonna do now is do the inking of the horses so they've all been painted completely red apart from one I've left to be a white horse and another one I've left as a black horse for the officer and either the standard bearer or the trumpeter. I haven't decided yet. Could have even done two horses, but two white horses, but I'll leave it as, uh, as that. So what I'm going to use is this ink, which is burnt umber. Okay. Now usually what I do with the paints is I put them in the wet palette and add water and keep them in there so that I can use them tomorrow if I've still got paint left in there. But with the ink I'm just going to basically take a string from it straight from the bottle because it dries out quite quickly. So there's a tip, just get it straight from the bottle, dip your brush in there and put it on the horses from there. So you can see the difference the ink's made. Um, this one hasn't been inked, that one has. Still quite shiny at the moment because I've literally just done it now. But you can see it picks out all the, uh, the detail. And it's also very handy for picking out detail, like the little um, strap that comes down the front of the chest. There's, you know, there's one that goes across the chest and then there's another one going down from there. Um, so that's quite handy because you're going to be painting that anyway. Um, and it really has gone into all the crevices. Now I don't mind if I've gone over bits of the saddle at this point because at the moment it's only guess on there anyway. So I'd usually paint over the saddle with white if it's going to be um, yellow or blue or red or whatever other colour. I think everything apart from black basically. I'd paint over that in white anyway, so I don't really mind that happening. 
um, the teals as well and the means doesn't matter because he's going to be do I'm going to be doing those in black anyway okay things like the gun holsters I'm not bothered about because those would be brown anyway all black okay so that's that done it's very very quick doing this in game actually it's, you can do it in under a minute in fact, probably about 30 seconds it takes you to do the whole horse, so a very quick part of the process. There you go. So, I've painted all the boots black, and the helmets black, and added the red um, feathers, I suppose they are, on the top. And they're starting to shape up quite nicely, I think. Um, that's the size of the heads again. Talary, that's what they do. Okay, 